Hey all, this is Joe from Paracord Reviews. And I know I've been talking about doing this uh, test, uh, weight test, and to see which Paracord is the strongest, which of the 550s. And you know, I've been working on that all week. And unfortunately, I have to tell you, I've had to scrap the entire idea. I do not have a weight scale that's big enough. And quite frankly, even my fat butt getting on and hanging on these this paracord didn't break it so I'm gonna have to think of something else if you guys have any ideas please send them my way shoot me a message but in the meantime I decided instead I want to take the four major brands and I'm gonna do a stretch test I know I've done this before but we're gonna do it a little differently so stay tuned So you can see here I have my tape measure here and I have four major brands. Right here is Atwood, black and blue is uh, Paracord Planet, the black is Wolverines, I gave that a four star that's uh, very popular on Amazon, and then we have Board Paracord. These are all very much general use paracord types. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I have pre-cut these all to 47 inches. So these are all 47 inches long. What we're going to do today is we're going to do these each one individually and let me show you how. I have this bucket. It is leftover mastic pre-mixed adhesive from when I did the floors and we are going to put it on here and you can see it is 22.3 pounds. What we're gonna do is hook that up to this. And we are going to hang each one individually. So stay tuned. So starting with the Atwood rope, we're gonna take this, I'm just gonna do a simple knot so that it can be untied easily later on. There we go. So now that 22 0.3 pounds is going to hang for 24 hours. It is now 2.26 Eastern Time. We will come back in 24 hours and see how much it stretched. Okay, it has now been 24 hours. Let's see what we can see with how well this has, uh, has or has not stretched. I have my tape measure and it has gone past So it stretched right at an inch. So that was the Atwood rope. Now let's take a look and see what the Black Wolverines does. Okay, another 
122.3 pounds. Atwood rope, stretch it an inch. We'll come back in 24 hours and see what the Wolverines does. So it has been 24 hours and eight minutes. And this has been on here since then. Let's go ahead, take it apart and see what we can see. We saw that the Atwood rope stretched a full inch. Let's see where we go with the werewolves. Werewolves did not stretch at all. As you can see, the sheathing kind of came undone. But I did not have that Okay, let's try this again. So it may have stretched all of a quarter of an inch, as you can see. So interesting. Now, let's try the board paracord. Okay. We will come back to this in 24 hours. Okay, it has now been 24 hours and 10 minutes for the board paracord. Let's go ahead and take it down. So, board paracord, as you can see, about an inch and a half of stretch. So it is going, it was cut at 47 inches and it is sitting at 48 and a half inches. Okay, we'll come back in 24 hours for the paracord planet. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. Let's see what we can see. This started at 47 inches. It has now stretched out to just over 48 and a half inches. So even further than the Atwood rope. So we are now adding a fifth. We're going to add the Ozark. So we'll be back in 24 hours. Okay, it has now been 24 hours, so let's see how the Ozark Paracord did. Okay, so we cut it at 47 inches, and much like the Wolverines, it only stretched about... I'm gonna call it a quarter of an inch. So, we know that the Wolverines and the Ozark are Chinese made. Um, Atwood, Board Paracord, and Paracord Planet are US made. Those all stretched more. Why is that, or uh, what caused it? I don't know, it's probably manufacturing. Why is this important? Well, the only reason it's really important for your standard things like say a bracelet and the like, whatnot, it's not as big of a deal. But if you're making a belt, you need to know is it, how much is it gonna stretch. If you're using this stuff to make a hammock, if you're using this to make a chair, um, you know, as a webbing for a chair. 
it, it makes a difference because it, it will stretch and it will impact the overall size. So anyway, that's it for this week all. I hope you found this informative and until next time, keep paracording. Later.